blessings. Hey, 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 what's going on, Saints? Oh man, it's been a little bit. Been uh, been pretty busy. Blessed though. I got uh, some stuff going on, projects and things that I'm working on. Um, but uh, the purpose for the kingdom must go on, right? It's a beautiful, uh, what is this? It's just Thursday. I'm off for the rest of the week. So I just, uh, God has given me the uh, opportunity to get a few things done. So with that said, uh, the GOAT part 19 is, uh, will be up at the time of this, uh, this video. Uh, at the time of you guys seeing this video. Um, I kind of like what I did with the last one as far as the the drop, like a notification. So, uh, just so I can touch base. Um, so, just want to let you know that video will be up by the time you see this one. And the uh, respective links will be provided in, in the uh, description for BitChute and Brighton. If you don't already know, as I've stated a few times before, I can't, um, I can't really, uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I, I get banned. I've gotten banned on YouTube a couple of times. And so I've got one more time to get banned within a, within a 90 day period and uh, the channel is gone. So I'm releasing everything from the standpoint of the GOAT series and anything that could be considered uh, controversial or uh, things that are being uh, uh, suppressed. What's the other one I'm looking for? Uh, censored. Um, I'm releasing that on uh, Brighton and uh, Bitchu. So, uh, and uh, part 20 will be coming as well. I don't think I'm going to do, man, people out here driving crazy. I'm doing the speed limit. I don't be going slow at all. People just being patient these days, man. Seriously. Like, it's, what is it? The speed limit is 40 right now. I got cars passing me. I had this car just whipped from behind me, man. Some speed racer stuff. I was going like 50. And, uh, he jumped from behind, whatever. God bless you. And so, uh, um, I think I'm gonna, I may, I may record uh, part 20 today. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. If I do record it, uh, I don't know, we'll see what the Lord has, whatever. Um, I'm uh, gonna be enjoying some time with the, uh, my, the fam today. Me and my wife are both off. So, uh, yeah, hallelujah. Um, but like I said, I think I'm just going to keep it in this format from the standpoint of uh, releasing vids. You know, get on get on camera for you real quick and, uh, you know, just touch base and, uh, you know, quick fellowship with you guys in the spirit, man. God bless all of you. Hopefully you're having a wonderful, blessed day. Um, Big, big, big news here in the world right now. Queen Elizabeth passed away today, not too long ago. Felt this was coming for a minute. Um, big changing of the guard here coming. Big change of the guard. The changing of the guard coming here. Um, handing over of uh, a lot of things right now now uh, I'm not gonna be you know ding dong the witch is dead the witch is nah ain't nothing like that I don't wish death on anybody you know what I mean that woman though along with her family was responsible for a lot of things we'll just keep it at that responsible for a lot of things mm, that are not uh that aren't good, we'll say that, all right? But, um, yeah, she uh, has passed on, whatever. I remember when, uh, what was it, Prince Charles, I think it was Prince Charles who passed, he, before he passed, he, uh, he was in an interview and he said that uh, if, when I die, I hope to come back as a virus to kill a lot of people. Now, the kill a lot of people, that's a loose uh, paraphrase of what he said. It's a loose quote. That's 
basically exactly what he's basically what he said. Not exactly, not basically exactly. There, that's a it's <laughs> an oxymoron. Basically, exactly. But uh, you know, it's basically what he said. Wanted to come back as a virus. Now with her death, there's a monumental shift in the spirit going going on. She is uh, considered to be at the tippy top of the. Uh, pyramidal structure in regards to uh, Freemasonry, Shriners, Rosicrucians, you know, the usual suspects, high up there, man. you know what I mean, when, when the Pope has to bow to you, that really says a lot, and the Pope is bowed to her, you know what I mean, so, uh, we know who the Pope is. So, um, yeah, man. Other than that, um, man, I'm trying to think. I've got, I've got a, I've got, I've got something stirred in the spirit that is uh, going to be coming soon. Um, a message that I've got, something that the Lord has been giving me to say. too far to be disobedient i know there isn't a, i mean i know there isn't like a length you can go to where there's no longer in no disobedience in you but i i mean i've come this far man no no reason to turn back now so i'm gonna keep being obedient um obedient rightfully so righteously and rightfully so right um because uh Man, there, there's there is a uh, there is a crying out going on right now. There's a pouring out from the Lord, and there's a crying out from the body right now that has to be, uh, you know, a lot of things have to be said. A lot of things have to be put into perspective. A lot of things have to uh, a lot of things have to be set right. Brother JT, he was asking uh, a few people uh, on the chat, uh, on his channel, a couple of, maybe about a month or so ago, he said, what season are you in? I said, I'm in my harvest season. I'm in my harvest and I'm reaping. I'm reaping what's been sowed into me and what the Lord has, you know, sowed into me. I'm reaping it. But uh, at the same time, I'm in my harvest, and uh, I hear a lot of other people kind of uh, sharing the same sentiments in regards to uh, family, friends, things of that nature. I was talking about that last night on JT's channel, but uh, man, I was reading, I was reading yet, yet another pastor. Yet another pastor has uh, gotten caught up in, in a little bit of uh, a scandal. Matt Schroeder or Matt Chandler, something like that. Uh, prominent pastor down in Texas. Inappropriate uh, DM messages on Instagram or whatever. Or Twitter, whatever. I don't have any of those accounts, so I don't know how it goes. I think you t tweet, yeah, you tweet. Then you uh, DM and Instagram, I guess. I don't know. It makes me sound like an old man, but I, I just don't do that. Um, but, uh, and, and I'm not trying to look all I'm looking at the thing right now. I see my, my glasses. I've got those auto tenor glasses. I'm not trying to be out here looking like Cool Mo D and all that. I got the auto tenors my wife got me and uh, they, they tin up and I got the sun. So um, that's why it's doing that. But um, I'm just saying, it's Matt Chandler, yet another pastor that's come out. Um, and the thing was, I mean, you go look at it. You go look at it now. Uh, as far as what was said in the DMs, it wasn't like sexual, romantic in nature, as he put it. Which, which uh, the, the, the the supposed elders of his church are uh, or uh, corroborating. But um, nonetheless, he said, and this is his quote. He said, uh, 
This is when you know you can get real wordy, wordy and it's not coming from the Lord. He said, um, they were, what did he say? Because I think it was like two you words. You know how, they, you know how like uh, Reverend Al Sharpton, the perpendicular uh, principles of the, the principalities and all that, whatever, you know, PPP. That's what he was doing. I'm trying to remember the words that he used. Uh, oh, unguarded and unwise. The decisions, well, well, the, the, they weren't romantic or sexual in nature, but they were unguarded and unwise. Um, and he said, uh, and the elders made the uh, decision for him to step down temporarily, no teaching or what, whatever, nothing like that, uh, based upon the fact of uh, his inability to know, uh, his in inability to see the situation for, you know, what it could have been or, you know, whatever. Also, again, with the perpendicular principalities of the purple, uh, he said, you know how the preachers do. They do like six words that has the same. Ugh, and that bothers the crap out of me sometimes, man. But um, he also said, uh, so he said unguarded and unwise. And he also said um, the situation, uh, the, the, the uh, what was it? The, uh, what did he say? The decision was made based upon familiarity and frequency. The familiarity and frequency of the text messages. I was like, that sounds like a freaking public relations response. Like, like you had that written for you. Now understand, this wasn't out of the goodness of his heart that this was found out. It wasn't conviction based. Understand, this was all done as a result of a lady in his uh, congregation who was a friend of the woman that uh, in the DMs who came to him with concerns about uh, it being inappropriate. That's right, y'all. So, so this is this is my conviction on the whole matter because I look, man, I, I know about conviction. But you know, us uh, us saints here, us saints, us followers of Christ. You know, we know about conviction when we didn't done, done something. Now, conviction is that little bitty voice that says, hey, you shouldn't have done that. Whatever. All right. But you can cancel that voice out. You can stall them out. You can you can you can you can quiet down that. You can just shut it off. That's where that reprobate thing comes uh, into. Right. So, no, he didn't do this out of the goodness of his heart, his faith, or conviction or anything like that. He did it as a result of a woman. Uh, who was a friend of the, uh, the, the the other woman in the DMs, <clears throat> finding out, coming out, saying, hey, telling him, you know, came to him and said, hey, you know, I know about this, blah, 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 blah. He said, you're right. I need to step. I'm like, I'm not mocking. It, it just bothers me. I am mocking a little bit. I'm sorry, Lord. I shouldn't do that. He was like, yeah, basically, you're right. Um, I need to take this. The elders, he was like, yep, and you know, and, 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 and good on them. This is what he's saying. You can go look this up. He's like, and good on them. It could have been so much worse. They agreed, and they're so right. I agree with them that, you know, we, the, the, you know, the decision for me to step down. Not one word of repentance. Not one word of repentance. Not one word of, I'm sorry, congregation. I'm sorry to my wife. Uh, Lord, I'm sorry to you. That's the first person you should be repenting to for anything. In your wife, then the congregation. Or then your congregation and your wife. I believe it, you know. Um, oh, wow. They swerving. They swerving up in there. All right. Um, yeah. Not, nothing like that. You know. He says, I, I feel stupid. Because it feels like I'm embarrassing my wife or my kids. And blah, blah, like, hey, you, you, you did but you didn't embarrass you. You embarrassed yourself, and, and 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 more than anything, you you violated the relationship that you have with the Lord. All right, and that commitment and obligation, and uh, 
responsibility and accountability that you have. And it's like you sidestep accountability when you don't repent and say, I'm sorry, Lord. No, 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 no. And so you go look at the video. I may link it in the uh, description, but um, like I said, man, fruit to being shown. Now, my thing is, what would have what would have transpired had that woman in the congregation not come forward and, uh, to him with uh, the concerns? It's obviously he was freaking, he was denying the conviction, or uh, or dang, maybe he's at a he was at a point to where he couldn't even hear, and that's why the Lord sent her. You know, like he stopped wanting to hear. That's a dangerous place to be in, man. You know, you hear conviction. I've been through it. You hear, you, you know, you violated something. You know what's wrong. It's like, ah, I'll repent when I'm ready. I'll stop when I'm ready. Then you have somebody else come to you and tell you. Mm, that's like, ah, that's because you wasn't listening. You know, you get to that reprobate aspect and the Lord ain't even going to send nobody, man. But to me, that's just like, what would have happened had she not come forward? This lady, other lady come forward. Those DMs could have really transpired into uh, an inappropriate relationship. More unguarded and unwise, even more unguarded and unwise familiarity and frequency of uh, <laughs> of communication, right? Gotta be on guard, y'all. These people are showing their true fruits. I'm not saying all pastors. But when I talk about the harvest and the wheats and the tares, People showing their fruits, the great falling away. Be sober, be vigilant, y'all. People are falling hard right now. But uh, with that being said, I am going to get off. God bless all of you. Uh, be on the lookout for part 20. Part 20 may come today. If not, uh, I will have it up this weekend. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day.